Hi, everybody. Well, welcome to the course. Welcome to the weekly discussion. I would like to, uh, in the following slides, give you a, a brief presentation uh, that I've used uh, uh, hundreds of times, and I wanted to share it with you as we enter the uh, course. It's my guidelines on what makes a robust discussion uh, uh, response uh, every week. So take a look, and I hope, uh, I hope that it helps. So let's take a look. It, as you'll recall, uh, from my bio. My doctoral work is in cognitive development. So here's a quick tip for you. Pure knowledge does not equal development. So if, as an example, we read the book, take a lot of notes, study hard, and then put all of it in a bottom drawer, we haven't developed. You haven't changed. Let me give you a tip on how we'll execute development. The key to real adult development is the acquisition of, of knowledge, but then the use of that knowledge, so th from experience. Now here's a tip for us in academia. Uh, there's a lot of research out there that, that suggests that the brain cannot differentiate between real and imagined experiences. So if you acquired knowledge and on the job went out and used that knowledge, then you have physical, real experience. However, in academia, how will you use that knowledge? Well, again, the brain cannot differentiate between real and imagined experiences. So we give you an opportunity in the discussions to reflect, to visualize, to critically think about what you're studying, put it into the uh, context of your past jobs or your, or your current job, where this knowledge would have been applied somewhere in your past. Also key here in the discussion, you can learn from other people's experience. So as you read other, your colleagues, other classmates' discussions, think about, reflect on, visualize how the knowledge that we're studying for that week actually was used in the real world, in the workplace, by your colleagues. All right? So here's what I would expect. So what do you need to do to, to uh, actually reflect, to uh, uh, critically think about, uh, consider the topic? Four main elements in your discussion that I'll look for every week. Shared experience. I would like to like you to take the the topic, the subject matter that we're studying for that week, and apply it to your experience. Write about where it would have worked, where it did work, where you wish it had worked in the real world. Always take your abstract uh, knowledge from the textbook, lectures, learning material, and reflect it back onto real world experiences. Here's another key one. Every week in your discussion answer and your post to colleagues, demonstrate knowledge. This is fairly easy to do. We'll want to get away from pure opinion and get into substantial knowledge. This is not just academia. This is in the professional world. You'll want to make your decisions and write in your professional position based on real knowledge, not just pure opinion. So how do you demonstrate knowledge? Reflect back, cite theories, notions, abstract ideas, things from the textbook, things that you've, you've researched online. Bring that knowledge, vividly show the knowledge specifically pertinent to the topic that we're talking about. Another one is, as citing your knowledge, references. Every week I'll look for, can you reference back to a substantial a supporting point for whatever you're saying in your discussions. So whether it's our textbook or something you found online uh, from your research, you'll want to cite that. Again, we want to get away from opinion and get into real, practical, usable knowledge. So cite references. Where did you develop the idea that you bring forward in your discussion? And another one that's key here for you, and I'll look every week, are you actually engaged in a discussion or are you just writing uh, a quick summary? The key that I find is, are you asking questions? So if, if you are reading your colleague's post, 
ask them questions ask them where they got that idea ask them for supporting evidence ask them how these abstract notions ideas and theories actually are working in the real in the real workplace so i'm looking for questions that you'll ask uh, in your discussions now key here everyone's interested well how will i be graded on my discussions i basically break it down into a few areas everyone has to answer the question so i look at your question what am uh, your answer to the question what am i looking for your understanding of the course material that's your knowledge what do you know how how have you shown what you know the other one is critical thinking how are you uh, critically thinking about the topic that means how are you demonstrating a clear thought process around the knowledge and how you would apply it the next major category 30 percent of all the points that i'll give you every week are based on your replies i'm looking at the same thing knowledge and critical thinking in your replies and then of course if you look at that fourth line on the uh, uh the grading summary here i'm looking at how well you write and again this is not for academia purely for academia this is real world experience every written document that you produce in the workplace whether you're writing a report to your uh, uh, immediate uh, manager or the department head or vp of operations you'll want to provide a professional document and i'll give you more tips on how to write a professional document but for right now when i look at your discussions i'm looking at how well they're written and then the last two key assessment points your timing we always want to get into the discussion at least by wednesday then have two responsive posts at least by sunday here is a quick tip on timing I have found my most successful strong students probably read study over the weekend and then post their answer to the question Sunday night or at least by Monday. That gives their colleagues ample time to read their post and respond. It starts a discussion. If, however, you wait until Sunday night to put your answer in, then one, I suggest you're you're really limiting uh, your devel development opportunity because your colleagues won't have time to read and respond to your post. All right, so now, when would you do this? Every time. Consider every post you make is as a professional document in the workplace. Whether you're writing a, a memo, you're writing an email, you're doing something at work, you would want to have everything spelled correctly, proper grammar, written correctly, well thought out, and well supported. All right, so when do you do it? Every well, everybody, I, I hope you enjoyed that very short presentation and uh, are, are uh, well equipped to jump into our weekly scholarly discussion. If I may sum up uh, just briefly, remember this is uh, the, the weekly discussion is a critical development uh, tool for you. I highly, highly encourage you to take it seriously. The minimum what uh, I would ask you to do, please jump into the discussion. Join everybody by at least Wednesday earlier is certainly recommended. You'll, you'll want to get in at least two more times by uh, Sunday. Uh, be sure the, the keys, remember in the presentation, the keys are you'll want to take what we're discussing, the knowledge that we're uh, exploring that week, and reflect back on your own real world lived experiences. So bring experience into your discussion. Uh, you'll always, always want to demonstrate a clear understanding of the material. Uh, that's e easily done. Bring in references, uh, site theories, notions, concepts that, that we're studying that week. I, I w would really like to get you into a habit of s well supporting your logic arguments. So in your discussion, I highly recommend pull in references, cite your sources, and then as with any discussion, keep it going by using probing questions. Read your colleagues' text. Ask them questions about their post. All right, everybody, that's it. I hope you're well prepared. I hope you're eager to jump into the scholarly discussion. All right, I'll see you online.